lovely Sophia here, Psychic Tarot Reader, Personal Mentor. Welcome back to my channel, Sophia Psychic Tarot. So today's pick a card reading is The Week Ahead, where I will be looking at love, career, money, and just any general messages that come through. So we have piles one, two, and three, and the timestamps are in the description box below. So for my lovelies who chose pile number one, let's have a look and see what the week ahead holds for you. First starting with love. So dear spirit guides and angels, what does the week hold regarding love for the viewer who chose pile number one? Okay, so for you, my lovelies, regarding your love life, I'm just going to pull in a Romance Angel card, but they seem to be saying that for some of you, you've been juggling things around, or you may have felt a bit foolish. Okay, who am I kidding? Uh, things aren't going as well as I'd hoped. Um, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. Okay, so let's start that again. If you are single, I'm never going to find love, what's the point, I feel foolish, you're, you're having negative talk to yourself, but there is going to be something revealed to you regarding, and we've got the two of cups, so a partner. So for some of you that are single, then I feel that you will meet somebody, okay? Um... And it's a love you've been waiting for, so give your relationship a chance. Work at it rather than against it with your negative thoughts, okay? If you are in a relationship, again, work on it, okay? Give your relationship a chance. You may, something's going to be revealed that you've been waiting for, okay, however foolish or however much you've been juggling things around. You might not be feeling foolish, but um, juggling things around, okay? If you have been waiting for somebody to come back, then, again, if you've been in your negative talk, well, something's going to be revealed to you, either about them or by them, that you've been waiting for, so give your relationship a chance. Even her on here, she's turning away. You know, the man is giving her his full attention, but she's still like, oh, I don't know. You know, you're going into your negatives, so don't, okay? You've been waiting for this. Either group, you've been waiting for the love that you want. And don't ruin it, basically. If you're going to react... And keep having negative thoughts, you're going to see it not get what you want, okay, basically. If you are positive and give it a chance and work on it, then you will get what you want. Archangel Mike wants to say something here. Yeah, keep your eyes on your targeted intention. Okay, thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me focus on my inner vision and intention. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears or doubts, granting me the confidence and courage to take action towards realising my dream. Which is what I said. If you are in your, like, doubts, negative talk, fears, insecurities, okay, get rid of those thoughts or else you will see that happening. Go into your positives, having the confidence and courage to realise your dream. So let's look at work or school or studies. Anything you do in the day, basically.
Okay, regarding work, studies, or whatever you do during the day, okay, I feel that you're a very giving person. You're a very kind, loving person. But I feel that others might take advantage of you. And we've got this tower moment coming in. But this guy here is sort of doing like acrobats. He's not sort of falling from the height. He's sort of bounding around here. Um, and you've got the defeated. Like it's been several battles and now you're going through your last battle where somebody is surrendering. So I feel that you are a kind person who perhaps takes advantage, is taken advantage of in whatever situation you're in. Um, but Spirit is saying that they, you know, stand up for yourself. You know, why should others get away with it? Why should other people treat you in a way that you don't want to be treated? I just want me to clarify the Empress. Yeah, you know, what's going to make you happy? Communicate more. Speak to other people who can perhaps help you. Hire up people, okay? If you're in work, speak to a manager or a supervisor. Um, if you're at school or college, talk to somebody else about it, okay? Um, let me just clarify these two a bit more, see if I've got any more... Um, yeah, you know, th blow your own trumpet for once, they're saying, you know, see this, uh, blow the whistle if you like, you know, if somebody's been bullying you or tormenting you, taking the mix, slacking off or whatever, okay, taking advantage of you in some way, shape or form and you're not happy, then you need to be happy. You deserve to be happy. People don't have to treat you like crap, okay? So... Yes, it might seem a battle to overcome this, but you can either stay in this tower with people treating you like shit, or you can do something about it, basically. If you feel you can't do something about it, then look at the story you're telling yourself about it in your thoughts. Change your thoughts. You know, I do this with a lot of my clients. If you don't if it can't talk to anybody, okay, as you create your reality, start thinking of how you do want your work or school life to be. But you don't have to be walked all over or taken the mick out of, okay? Or bullied. Let's look at... Uh, no, they want me to pull in one of these... Yeah, you know, have a good look. Do some self-reflecting. Think, no, I don't want to be treated like this. I'm better than that. Why am I letting somebody or the situation get out of hand, okay, when you can do something about it? You know, you are the key that fits this future lock. So realise, have that realisation that you can have what you want, okay? You don't have to suffer here. Of course, this isn't going to be for everybody in this group, okay? There could be hundreds of you who've chose pile number one. So let's look at money. Oh, money. <laughs> and it's on the ace. It's the ace of pentacles. So for me, that's always money coming in. Um, but feeling disappointed. Now, this could also be the swords in your back being just your mental negative thoughts pinning you down. I've never got any money. Money always comes in and out quickly. Um, I've always got loads of bills to pay. Okay, look at the negative story you're telling yourself. Turn it into a positive. I've got lots of money. Okay, and you will start to have money. Um, I go into this more on my other channel. The, um, with money, you might have some kind of disappointment this week. 
There may have been something you were looking forward to with money or hoping to have got some money, but you may feel disappointed. Um, it may be to do with money for studying, learning something new, getting something new. But this King of Pentacles might be able to help you. He's got money. He might have just have good advice for you. Um, but be proud of what you've already achieved, they're saying. It's time to celebrate all that you've achieved, all that you are and all that you will become. Every once in a while, it's important to stop and acknowledge what you've achieved and to be proud. Okay, so it might be a little bit of a setback regarding money, but there are people who can help you or a person in particular. Okay, but be proud of what you've already achieved. So let's look at any overall messages for the week. Overall, you are going to be celebrating something. Okay, you are going to have some good news this week, I feel. Um, yeah, good news. The way you felt lost or couldn't see how something was going to work out, I feel that you're going to receive news that will make you happy this week. Okay, whether it is in love, work, money. Um, let's have a look at... Adjustments are required. Okay, they're bringing through another thing as well. Some of you are going to have this celebration if you felt lost and um, if you felt lost, couldn't see an end to a problem. Okay, then you're going to have some good news. For others of you, um, that's separate. Okay, they're saying for those of you that are feeling lost, um, can't see an ending. Okay, then adjustments are required. So that could be like in this work situation, will you have to do something about it? Um, yeah, there is some good news coming. For some of you, that is good news coming and unexpected income or in an unexpected way. OK. Um, yes, let's go to final one. Yep, just be patient. Know that spirit is helping you here. OK, there will be justice. And a favourable outcome, they're saying. They want me to come to one of these. I haven't used these cards for a while. Yeah, just let go, okay? As you surrender the need to control, your relaxed energy rapidly attracts your desires. So, um, if you are really... I can't see a way out of this. I'm lost. I can't see an end to this. Well, some of you are going to get your happy ending this week anyway. It's going to happen this week. But for others of you, adjustments are required. You know, let go. Be patient. There will be a favourable outcome. Be proud of what you've achieved so far. Do a little bit of self-reflection and keep your eyes on your intended target. OK, I'll leave this with you. Love and light. For those of you who chose pile number two, let's have a look and see what's 
going to happen in the week ahead for you. So we'll start off with love. So dear spirit, guides and angels, what message do you have for the viewers who chose part number two regarding their love life for the next week? Okay, I'm just going to pull a romance angel on this. But we do seem to have some pressure here and maybe some opposition. Okay. Right, so we've got the Queen of Swords and the King of Wands here. And both of you are opposing each other. You're sort of slightly turned away. Okay, your person is being sort of on the defence a little bit here. Their pride perhaps getting in the way. They seem to think it's they've got some good idea, but um, you're opposing it in some way, shape or form. Sorry, I'm trying to get my hair out of my... Um, so it's putting pressure on the relationship or putting pressure on you. You're feeling under pressure, but Spirit is saying, well, be positive, look to the future, keep being positive. The Queen of Swords for me is the positive Pam card. Okay, cut out your negative thoughts. Remember, you create your reality and just have trust and faith. This situation is calling for you to have faith. You know, if this was me, you know, if somebody was opposing what I want, I don't react. I just go in my mind and start telling myself you know, what I do want to be seen. So say this was my husband, okay, who's going feral in my movie, okay, it's my movie, so instead of reacting and having a blazing row about it, I'd just be like, oh, my husband, he's so helpful, he's so kind, he loves my idea for doing this, that and the other, okay. And if I keep on for that for a day or two, he changes his mind to my way of thinking. So just throwing that in there for those of you who do follow my channel and know that your thoughts create okay that's how i would go about it so let's look at career now remember this is general it's like picking up your horoscopes and reading them okay the weak ones are just general really general it doesn't resonate okay well it might not resonate today it's only monday this might happen later in the week but also, if you don't resonate with any of it, then it's not for you, my lovelies. So, regarding work, school, or a course, anything you do in the day. Oops. Let's see how this comes out. So sort of, I feel like um, definitely being patient, going with the flow here. But what is it you want? Okay, what is it you want? Don't feel pressured by others. If things are becoming overwhelming or you're feeling anxious or stressed, be patient. Again, think about what you want. Here. don't worry and stress okay because you're again the the swords are your mental thoughts and you're only trapping yourself here so you know what thoughts are you telling yourself about this because if you continue in a negative and you're hiding away and try not to face this problem or it's becoming overwhelming or stressful or whatever. Okay, look at the thoughts you're telling yourself. What is it you do want to be seeing in your work situation or school or home life? Or, you know, if you don't go to work, what is it you want? Archangel Michael wants to pull in a card here.
Positive thoughts create positive results. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Divine love and wisdom, I call upon you now. I know that my mind and emotions are eternally and continuously connected to you. I ask my higher self to be aware and conscious of the love and light that is within every person and situation. Detach from the situation. It means detaching with your negative thoughts. Um, to cut any attachment to fear or drama so that I may be centred in the knowingness that peace is everywhere within me and this situation. So if you are finding a situation because we've got emotions and we've got your thoughts, which are what this says. I know that my mind and emotions are eternally and continuously connected to you. So be patient. Look at the negative story you keep telling yourself. I hate my job. People are doing this, that and the other. Okay, turn it into positive talk. What is it you want to be seeing? So let's look at money. Okay, regarding money, really think about what you want. Perhaps there is something you want. Okay, then try and find a different direction, a different solution. Don't get caught up in your emotions again. Okay, then victory and success will be yours. So if there, so either think about what you want financially. I've never got any money. I want lots of money. Okay, turn it to a positive, like I did. A couple of years ago you know all through my life I've never got any money so I never had any money but once I changed my way of thinking to I'm always provided for at all times I'm wealthy abundant financially secure money started coming to me and has done ever since so if you are in a negative mindset about money and you're really wanting money to travel to have whatever you want look at it from a different angle And victory and success will be yours. If there is something you're wanting, you know, anything that you want, look at it from a different angle, they're saying. And victory and success will be yours. They want me to come to one of these. Yes. Yeah, easy does it. Stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors will open for you. Perfect timing. This is the right time for you to move forward. So again, if this was me, what do I want? Right, I want lots of money. I'm financially abundant and always provided for. Yes, it's not going to change overnight, but it will start to change. If I want a holiday, I don't think about the cost. I just think about the holiday me enjoying myself on holiday and it always works out for me in a way that I can't think of so easy does it stop trying so hard to control everything all the doors will open for you let's go to overall messages for the week Be creative. Like the magician, we are all the magician and creators of our realities with the thoughts that we tell ourselves. So be creative. If you want things that are beneficial and creative, then be the powerful magician. You can have your Ten of Pentacles. You can have all the security you want, the, the life you want, but you have to believe. You have to believe and have trust. This is why I do personal mentoring, to help people get out of the negative mindset they are in and just living a life, to help them live the lives that they want to be living. Yeah, put an end to all the negative talk you keep telling yourself. You know, you've got to finish this. Positive thoughts create positive results. Stop trying so hard to control everything. All the doors will open for you. 
be creative. You can have whatever you want in your life, whatever area of your life. But you need to put an end to the negative thoughts you keep telling yourself and make those changes. Even if you can't physically make changes, then mentally make changes. Yeah, dream big. Let go of small thoughts about yourself and see yourself succeeding. Stop telling yourself. And then you can have your ten of pentacles again, your waves of prosperity. It is up to you. It is your life. You create your reality with the thoughts that you keep telling yourself. Prosperity lies ahead. You're protected. You are protected, so don't feel that you can't have what you want. If you want to see the fruits of what you're thinking blossom and you reap those benefits, then start thinking big. What is it I want? No, I'm not going to have just breadcrumbs anymore. I want a whole fruit basket. Spirit is saying, you know, we're trying to guide you here. Wake up, hear us. No good you sitting there bored, thinking that you can't have what you want. You can have what you want. Stop drowning in your emotions or feeling that you're not in control of your life. You are. Your thoughts create. That's the title of my new channel. Okay. Take charge of your life, the life that you want. You can have, be and do anything in your life. The only obstacle stopping you from having it is you, my lovelies. I'll leave this with you. Love and light. For my lovelies who chose power number three, let's have a look at what the week ahead holds for you. Starting with love. So dear spirit guides and angels, what message do we have for my viewers regarding the week ahead in love for number three? just put a romance angel down okay so the first card we have is the two of swords now this two of swords is different to the other decks remember I go by pictures so they're saying you know whereas normally the two of swords is there sat there in a stalemate situation this isn't a stalemate situation. She's active. She's taking action. She is blindfolded. She still can't see what's coming or around her, but she is using her heightened senses to defeat things around her. When you are blindfolded and you take away one of your senses, your other senses, your listening, your sense of smell, your sense of touch, your taste all gets heightened. So... She is, although she can't see things happening in her current 3D, she is taking action, whether it's just mentally, because it is on swords, just changing her thoughts, okay, and fighting these monsters, fighting her de demons, her fears, insecurities, doubts. It is your choice. Your, it's your choice on how you think and feel, whether you are thinking negatively or positively. You have choices to make. So get that balance and harmony 
between sort of your thoughts and emotions if you can't get it in your other things in your physical 3D. But stop putting pressure on yourself with all, again, all these thoughts are your pressures and burdens. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So be positive. Get the balance and harmony you need. Start defeating your fears and insecurities and doubts. It is your choice. So let's look at work, studies, school, whatever you do during the day. Okay, so for work, two things, two messages they're bringing me. Either be like the King of Swords, which is like the Queen of Swords, you know, my positive Pam. Cut things out of your life that are not serving you. If you want your happiness, then you are the creator of your reality. You have this wand that is your magic wand, which is your mind, to have whatever you want. See this as... A second chance. All of these brides, if you like, are coming out of these coffins. Rebirth. There's an owl up in the tree. They're wiser now. Second time around, I'm wiser now. Okay, so for some of you, you know, regarding your situation at work or school or in your day, you know, look at the thoughts you're telling yourself because it is on the swords, which is your mental thoughts. What's not going right in my work? What's not going right in my school? What's not going right in my home life? Okay, but you have to think about what's going to make you happy and start being creative here. Even if it's just in your thoughts or in your practical 3D, in theory or in practice, okay. But have some kind of rebirth, knowing that you're wiser now. Get the information you need if you need to. Archangel Michael has something to say on this. Positive thoughts create positive results. Um, I call upon you now. I know that my mind and emotions are eternally and continuously connected to you. I ask my higher self to be aware and conscious of the love and light that is within every person and situation accordingly. Let's look at money. Yeah, something very creative with money this week. Um, might be something to do with the past. Okay, it might be somebody from your past. It might be your parents. It might be somebody that you've known who you bump into and will help you financially or give you an idea. Okay, but there is movement here. Fast movement. Even the, this hermit is on the move. Um, and we've got the fast movement here. And things being balanced, okay? But also be patient. There is help here. It may be just something pops up from your past. It may not be a person. It might be a situation. But it's going to be helpful. Yeah. Um, there could be help with a new home. Moving is a step in the right direction for you. So some kind of um, breakthrough 
happening quite quickly regarding money or finances in your sort of favour either way. So let's look at general messages for the week. So we've got the chariot, decisions, but also taking charge of the reins, okay? Take charge of things. Remember up in the first bit in the romance when I said it's your choice and in career as well. Yeah, take charge if you want your victory and success. It's your decision between success and failure, they're saying. It is your decision to take control of what you want in your life in order to get the success that you want. Yeah, you know, what is your wish fulfilled? This woman stood here wishing, hoping, praying, and spirit is all here trying to guide you. They can't do it for you. They can only guide you. If the light's gone a bit dim all of a sudden, it's because it has got very dark outside. Probably going to have a rain storm. Right, let's go to these. Um, pay attention. Notice repetitious signs and your inner guidance as this can yield valuable information. So if spirit's trying to guide you, pay attention to the signs you're seeing. What are the signs you're seeing and what is your inner guidance telling you? What's your gut feeling telling you? Because usually they download it into your intuition. Show the world the real you. You know, you haven't got to try and please or pamper to anybody else what is it you want it is your life it is your movie accept the help that spirit is trying to give you here okay so know that you're good enough know that you're worthy pay attention to what spirit is trying to download to you accept help from others if you need to during this week but it is overall your decision to take charge to make those choices stop resisting stop putting your resistance in the way in order to get what you want positive thoughts create positive results as Archangel Michael said stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance Put an end to things you don't like in your life. Okay, what negative self-talk do you keep telling yourself about your love life, your money, your career, life overall and change them into positives? If there are situations or people in your life that you are not getting along with, then either start recreating the situation in your mind like I talk about on my new channel, Your Thoughts Create. Or just make those changes, the end of the old, beginning of the new. But hold yourself in high honour. Have more respect for yourself. Hence, show the world the real you. Yeah, what is it you want? And you can have whatever you want. You can get whatever you want. You can have, be and do whatever you want in this world. The only obstacle is yourself. And the negative self-talk you keep telling yourself that perhaps you're not good enough, you don't deserve this, that and the other, or you just keep going and playing the same old negative movie round and round in your head about your work, love or job. That's why I do personal mentoring to help people realise and look at where their blocks are and the negative self-talk they keep telling themselves so that you can have whatever you want in your life. So, my lovelies, notice what your intuition is telling you and be positive. I'll leave this with you. Love and light.